and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today is a bit of a different video because I'm starting the 75 hard challenge in this video. For those of you who don't know what the 75 hard challenge is, it's basically a discipline challenge. You have to do one 45 minute workout a day, one 45 minute outdoor workout a day, drink a gallon of water, which is crazy, read 10 pages of a self-help book, no alcohol, and you're also meant to take a progress picture every day. Personally for me, the challenge is not about how my body looks or changing my body or anything like that. And I have had a bad relationship with body image in the past so I just felt like that wasn't necessary for me on this challenge because it's not about tracking how I look but actually just to focus on starting new healthy habits anyway there's also one more rule that is to follow some sort of diet and that can be specific to you as a person but I do quite like that it's quite a broad thing I think a lot of people will take that as like oh you've got to start cutting back your calories or like go on a diet rather than follow a diet do you know what I mean so for me I've literally been eating a lot of chocolate every day I've been having McDonald's when I want it I've been going out for burgers when I want them. Again, because I have had that past history with unhealthy relationship with food where I've had disordered and toxic mindset and approach to food and restriction and everything. I have always promised myself that since getting to a better place with my body image and my relationship with food that I will eat intuitively and I, I will never restrict. I'll never deprive myself of something that I fancy or crave. So for me, the diet part of this challenge is literally just trying to make a little bit more mindful decisions where possible. So whether that is adding a bit more veg into a meal when usually maybe I wouldn't and also adding in a bit more protein Especially with more exercise that I'll be doing It's really important to like eat extra meat and like make sure I'm fueling myself properly and also just like to make me feel best Physically and mentally and what I mean by that is if I'm fueling myself with foods that are high in protein high in fats high in carbs All of this I'm gonna be feeling my best I'm gonna be feeling my best physically as in I'm gonna have more energy I'm gonna feel healthier I'm gonna feel better and then mentally because I won't be feeling as brain foggy hopefully eating more veg and everything will also make my mental health in general feel a bit better so yeah I'm really excited for you guys to watch this one this is just day 1 to 30 I don't want to go on and bore you guys for too long so without further ado I hope you guys enjoy day 1 75 hard I'm not gonna lie to you I'm pretty scared but this challenge ain't gonna complete itself I feel like I need this physically and mentally and although I'm pretty worried about it I know I'm capable of it it's just trusting my discipline and motivation to get me through it I want to bring you guys with me and it's gonna be hard it's in the freaking title but we can do hard things and we can get this done and we can actually smash this i think the first couple of weeks are going to be the hardest and then it might get a little bit boring and then hopefully we'll just freaking be like a robot and we'll be on it and we'll find our routine and we'll settle into it a little bit more i'm somehow gonna have to chug a gallon of water every single day i think that equates to like 3.75 liters that is gonna be freaking hard i think one of these are about 500 so oh, that is like freaking seven times i need to drink one of these Wish me luck. I'm literally doing the slowest jog in the world. I usually find it really hard to properly slow down. But at this point, it feels like I may as well be walking. And that's the goal. Because I want to keep this challenge appealing. And if I'm struggling to the max every day, it's not going to be appealing. And I also don't want to hurt myself if I'm doing a lot of exercise. First workout done. I did a 40 minute 5k. I'm so happy I kept my time down. It is now time for workout two of the day. I know I'm looking pretty slay. But trust me, this is not how I would usually look going to the gym. I actually am filming a brand deal for fabletics which i'm absolutely obsessed with i've got their flares on right now and i've also got on um, a sports bra from them and oh my god it's the cutest thing ever absolutely cooking up a storm this looks so yummy got sticky rice chow mein sauce broccoli carrots chicken this is gonna be yummy absolutely chef's kiss would you look at that the first dinner of 75 hard had to be a jack potato doesn't that look bloody beautiful although i accidentally emptied loads of salt onto it because the wrong side of the shaker was open Mm -hmm. Time to get reading my friends. I literally have to read the same sentence a hundred million times before I even realise what was going on in the sentence. So these 10 pages are going to be 10 long pages. I do just want to come on here and give a quick, quick, quick disclaimer. Just to say that if you are somebody that struggles with your body image or over exercising or food restriction or anything like that. First of all, you don't need to watch this video if this could trigger you or make you compare yourself or feel bad about yourself in any way. Also remember that this challenge isn't for everybody just because 
because I'm doing it and I have a good relationship with exercise and my body and food and all of this stuff doesn't mean that everybody else will and not everybody's in the same point in their journey. Health is specific to each person and so what looks healthy for me will look different to somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and so this challenge definitely isn't for everybody and me three years ago could absolutely not do this challenge without it being completely toxic and restrictive and disordered. You know yourself well enough and if it won't be done from a place of self-love to get yourself out of a rut, to find more healthier habits, to get into a bit more of a routine, to challenge your discipline, all these things, they're the reasons I'm going to be taking part in this challenge. Maybe just have a little conversation with yourself and see if this really is the best option for you. But yeah, for those of you who do feel like this would be a great challenge for you and it will make you feel your best, I hope this video inspires you and motivates you. <laughs> if you're not taking part, I hope you enjoy it and you just have a bit of a distraction. Yummy in my tummy. We're eating good tonight. Me and Sis on our 45 minute outdoor workout of the day. We're doing a walk. And we're uphill. We're uphill right now, guys, which is not good. You always need a bigger downhill than uphill to recover from the uphill. Actually on the route that I went on a little jog yesterday, and it is quite nice, isn't it? Because we go yeah, all on sand, which is a bit different. It's not all boggy and muddy. And the boys are loving it. Aren't you, darlings? Well done. It is very hard to walk and talk, though, up the hills. I know, I'm out of breath. I know, we're dying. We're getting it in. That was the first time on this challenge. I have pushed myself. Oh my God, that was hard. Maybe that's the reason I've been acting so cold. If I get scared. come on here and give a little update so far so good i have been completing my 245 minute workouts indoor and outdoor i've been alternating walking and running and when i say running i really mean really slow jog kind of vibe and i feel like that's been working really well for me i don't want to hurt myself i don't want to overdo it and also because i want to keep the challenge appealing if i set myself out to be like every day my 45 minute outdoor workout has to be like a run as fast as i can go every single time I'm not gonna find it appealing and I'm gonna dread every day and I'm gonna have literal anxiety because of it But honestly like instead of focusing on pushing myself I'm actually focusing on pushing myself to go slower purposefully on the runs and it's been so lovely because it has made it so much more enjoyable I'm not dreading my runs. I haven't been getting anxiety for them. If anything, I've been looking forward to them Two, I haven't felt any sort of pain because of it three It's actually better for you to run slower. It's better for your heart. It's better to be in a lower zone own. Apparently it actually helps you run faster in the future, which is a big win. It just takes off a load of pressure. It doesn't give me anxiety. A big one as well that's really been great is that because I am going slower, I don't crash afterwards. If I go on a run where I'm kind of like putting my all into it, I'll literally feel like I'm crashing for the rest of the day and I feel so tired and exhausted and like mentally and physically drained. So I feel like I find a really good balance with that. I'm like, I think it's really important to note that every single workout doesn't have to be super intense. Yeah, you can go and do your super fast runs if you want. Want. you can do a hit workout if you want you know I did a really great leg session at the gym today with my sister which is really great but then I also just went on a walk afterwards you know this is already a big ask from yourself so I feel like I'm doing really well with balancing it and I'm getting that all done I'm reading my book I'm trying not to read too late because I already struggle with reading anyway I find it quite difficult to actually take in every sentence and whatever I'm trying not to read as like the last thing I do before bed because I feel like as it's a self-help book I really want to actually take in what it's saying but I'm really enjoying it if anybody wants to give it a go it's called why has nobody told me this before from a psychologist she's basically writes all about everything she's learned in therapy and things that work for her clients and it's really great and so because it's that type of book i do really want to take everything in so i try not to read too late i am struggling with the water i am having to like at night time like drink a lot more than what i am in the day so i do need to get on top of that it's just a little bit difficult honestly i think the water bottle really makes a difference once you get a water bottle that you actually really enjoy drinking from it's just knowing how many times you've got to fill that up and then just 
getting through it. I'm focusing a little bit more on eating more home cooked meals rather than going out for food and whatever. I mean, I had a McDonald's yesterday, but like, I'm just saying overall, just slightly making more mindful choices and thinking about what foods I can eat that like gonna make me feel my best a little bit more. Introducing new things and getting into a little bit more of a routine and have a little bit more structure is a little bit different to what I'm used to. So I have been finding it hard to navigate, finding the right amount of time for it all and where I should do it in my day and is it best to do it in the morning? Is it best to space out the workouts? Is it best to do them together? So after I've kind of done all of this stuff, then I've showered and then I've made lunch and then I've cleaned up and then I've tidied my room. You know, I end up then just procrastinating a little bit because I do feel like I'm literally like crushing a bit and I feel a bit like, whoa, you know, so that is hard. And I feel like I'm not being as productive with my work because I'm using a little bit more time and energy on other things in the challenge, which I feel like is fine. I completely expected the first week, the first two weeks, first three weeks to not be completely smooth sailing. I'm hoping that as these are going to be a daily habit a daily task that further on into the challenge hopefully a month in i start to feel a little bit in the swing of things things start to feel like you know i have a little bit of routine i know what works for me and i'm just riding the waves obviously you know as something that's a little bit new to me it's not going to come completely natural so it's just trying to work around that seeing what works well for me embracing the time that i am procrastinating a little bit and just being mindful of that and trying something different in the future and hopefully my body will adjust and I can get my head around being a little bit more productive after I've done all of these tasks. Just navigating what works best for me basically. I just thought I'd do a little update. Other than that, feeling really great about it all. I've been having a lot more energy and I think that's so great. Like that is very unlike me to feel like I've got quite a bit of energy and I'm really focusing on my sleep as well. I know that's not mandatory in the challenge but I'm really focusing on getting earlier nights and waking up a little bit earlier but making sure I'm getting my eight hours because that is very important to me as a girly. That struggles with her energy levels and other than that i hope you enjoy the rest of the video you know it's winter when you go for a run at 11 a.m and it's minus one degrees Woo there's so many people here oh, now no, it's very cold one lupa and Woo hello let's go Ash. Woo crazy because every time I get out I always feel so great and I'm so glad I did it and there isn't one ounce of anxiety now I'm actually out on the run it's just very windy today though but we're doing it what a beautiful day the sun is shining and it's gonna be a gorgeous Sunday getting in my 45 minute outdoor workout of the day and today it's a war I did not realize my hood was the wrong way around this is your sign to go get outside. It's so beautiful. Even if it's for five minutes. There's a lot of runners out this morning. Yesterday I went on a run and I made sure to keep it super slow and steady. I did seven kilometers in 55 minutes. The first 4K, I was literally struggling so much. But then the last 3K, Oh, so much better and I felt like I actually could have kept going. I don't want to push myself too hard, although I am training for half marathon. That is coming up thick and fast and the farthest distance I've run is seven kilometers. I've got three weeks. <laughs> Oh, absolutely delicious. There couldn't be one yummier thing about that. Oh my God. Gammon steak, beef steak, broccoli, peas, and a lot of potatoes. And salt and gravy. Yummy, thanks Benny. I'm running the furthest I've ever run in my life today. The furthest I've ever run is 10 kilometers. And that was once on a race day. Since then, the max I've run is like seven and a half kilometers and my half marathon is in three and a half weeks. So trust me, I'm not running this distance because I want to. My boyfriend has forced me and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Maybe I just need to get out there and do it. As I do with most of my runs anyway, my goal is always just to basically take it as slow as possible, as slow as comfortable for me. And so that rule applies, but on a whole nother level for today's run, because this distance is actually uncomprehendable to me. The focus is keeping it slow and I'll update you as much as possible throughout the run. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Wish me luck. We're 5.7k in, starting to get quite tired and getting a bit hard now, but we're Plowing through it and feeling okay. Got Benny leading the way. Just taking it 
super slow whenever I feel like I'm going slow I just try and go slower especially because it's such a long distance for me we're now coming up to eight and a half k feeling okay got a bit of achy knees and hip but you know nothing that is too bad just plowing through and we've just been through a little woods and that was downhill so it's nice to feel like I can recover a little bit but now we're on the other side of the half of the 15k so that's good news here we are just hit 12k got a nasty ass hill coming up we've also just had one but luckily it did have a downhill everything's aching a bit but that did lead us on to have a bit of a discussion that pain is a privilege and motivating each other for you know why we're doing this it's for our future selves and it's made us feel good and now we've just got our last under 3k now feeling great now i'm going to be super proud after this already really proud this is what we do it for we're going to wake up on that day of half marathon be happy we put the work in this <laughs> Like. Yeah, hill coming up. Yeah. You're right. If it wasn't for Benny, I wouldn't be doing this today. So thanks, bubs. Yummy. Getting my tummy. Breaded chicken, sticky rice, broccoli, salad, and katsu curry sauce. We're about four and a half K into our 10K run. Exciting. We're having so much fun. We're just Yay. listening to music. So shining. shining. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Like it is pretty hot actually, but when you're in the shade, it's lovely. And we're just like taking in all the shops around us. Got music in our ears, going as slow as we want. It's brilliant. We're enjoying it. Killing it, Amy, baby. <laughs> And it is so much. Let that Gucci breathe. I just already know this is going to be my new obsession. I haven't been able to get out of my camera this whole run because I've just been struggling too much. This has been a hard one. We have just under three and a half K to go. I've just got to keep going and I'll be so proud after this. Keep Last going. week's 15K was way better than this one. That's okay. These bad ones made the good ones extra good. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I love you all so much. I'm loving it. I'm finding it difficult navigating things, but I feel like I'm at a really good point with it now my half marathon is literally in under a couple of weeks so i'll definitely bring you guys along with me on that but other than that like comment subscribe if you did enjoy and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys